So my mom has always been treated so poorly by my dad and I'm just fed up with it and I finally reached an age where I can do something about it. I don't feel like a little pipsqueak. I can stand up for my mom. So I decided to do something, but I wasn't going to do it right away. I waited until I made sure my father is really a dirty cheater. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to take a moment to share a bit about myself. I'm 21 years old and a white male and I'm the only child of my mom and dad. Lately, a lot of things have been happening in our family that have been causing me a great deal of stress and heartache. It's been really tough for me to deal with everything on my own, so I thought it might help to share our story with you all here. Before I tell you who's breaking our family apart, let me introduce my family. My mom is a lovely white lady with a beautiful brown hair and captivating almond-shaped eyes. Back in her college days, she was considered the prettiest girl around. Even though she's mature now and has a few wrinkles, she still radiates beauty. People say she's kind and gentle and everyone who knows her thinks highly of her. My dad's tall, blonde, blue eyes. He used to play sports when he was younger and that's how he won my mom's heart. They met in high school and were even crowned prom queen and king. <laughs> They were the popular couple in high school, and after college, they decided to get married. Dad was taking over Grandpa's business, and they were doing well, so Mom did not need to work. She stayed at home just to take care of me, and I definitely looked like Mom. No doubt about it. When I was little, I thought they were the perfect couple. They seemed really in love and happy, and Mom would be cooking in the kitchen while Dad sat with me at the dining table just talking. Dad used to bring flowers for Mom and take her out on dates. We would have game nights every Friday and he would make his famous fried chicken. Those were the best days. However, things took a drastic turn and these days it's like father never appreciates anything mom does. He's always finding faults with her. No matter how hard she tries, I mean, she sacrificed her whole career just to take care of me. Just like dad wanted. And all she gets in return is constant criticism and belittling from him. It's not right. I've seen dad's behavior change suddenly, and it's really alarming. It's like he's on a mission to pick out every little thing that mom does wrong. Like she could cook his favorite meal perfectly, and he would still find something to complain about. And the way he talks to her is downright disrespectful. I remember one time mom spent hours making this beautiful dinner for us. She made pasta from scratch. Dad came home late that night and we were waiting for him. And we were really hungry. Dad just said that he ate out and went to his room, leaving us alone. Dad hardly eats at home and he always come back late and I can tell that mom is worried. Whenever she asked him to take a day off from work or come home for dinner, he would snap at her, saying that he's busy with work. Well, what really just upset me is how mom just takes it all. She never stands up for herself. She just lets dad treat her badly. It breaks my heart to see her like that. And it's even worse knowing that I have to leave for university soon. And there won't be anybody here to watch out for her. After I left, things will get worse. See, dad stopped coming home from work, leaving mom alone and scared. She called me at night worried, and when I asked dad where all he was, he would just say that he was busy with work and make excuses. Dad always had something going on, keeping him busy. He went on a lot of business trips, leaving mom alone at home. This caused many fights between dad and me, and I was mad at his sudden change towards us. And Mom and dad would often argue, and mom would cry to me on the phone, and I felt sad and worried. Our family was a big mess. Something I never expected in a million years, and this made me do badly in my classes. I hardly went to any, and I was tired all the time, and I was worried sick about my family. This went on for a while, and I never thought my parents, who were once so close, would barely talk. And Mom told me she thought Dad might be cheating, and I had similar thoughts, but I could not believe that he would do that to Mom. When Dad did not come home from work again, I decided to go into his office. It was already 11 p.m. when I got there, and not many people were around, so... Some of Dad's employees said hi to me as they left, and I went to his office, but he wasn't there. His assistant wasn't there either because it was late. And as I was about to leave, I noticed the light was on in, you know, the room next to Dad's office. I went to check and saw Dad sitting on the couch very close to a lady. They seemed to be laughing about something, and I did not go in because I could see them clearly through the half-open door. 
They were sitting way too close to each other and it was not office hours, yet they were chit-chatting and laughing. I didn't see any work-related stuff nearby like files or documents, and the lady had long golden brown hair and a figure like a model. She looked young, maybe in her late 20s, early 30s. When I saw them together, I felt really unsure about what to do. I was scared to talk to them because I didn't want to believe what I saw. So I quickly went back home. Later on, dad came back and to try to, to talk to him, I did about his job, but it felt strange because we don't usually discuss it and he acted a bit odd. I wasn't sure how to bring up what I saw. I figured I would wait for the right moment to talk to him about it. So afterward, I decided to do some digging and discovered that the lady's name was Sarah and dad had recently brought her on as a board of the product manager group. This stirred up some disagreement among dad's employees because somebody who has been working there for a while was expecting for the promotion. But dad chose to hire Sarah. As much as I didn't want to believe that my father would cheat on my mom there, the evidence was hard to ignore. Now I'm stuck wondering whether I should tell mom about it or confront dad first, as I'm not entirely certain about what to do. I feel asleep that night. Wondering what I should do, I didn't even realize that dad and mom were fighting in their room. Uh, meanwhile, mom and dad, uh, she asked him why he always came home late and she was very angry with him. Dad also started shouting and mom finally reached her pinnacle and snapped. She came to my room crying and I knew that she had found out about dad cheating. Dad admitted to her that he was indeed seeing somebody else when he wasn't coming home. I'm really mad at dad for doing this, you know. After the fight, dad left mom alone again, and I could hear my dad's car driving away from the driveway. He's leaving mom alone again after another fight. It's like he's using the fight as an excuse to get away from home, and I'm with mom now. I wish I had a sibling to talk to about this, you know. Well, I feel absolutely betrayed. I don't want my family to fall apart, but it's happening right in front of me. What can I do to stop my family from falling apart? Please help me. Update number one, three months later. Hey everyone, just wanted to give you an update on what's happening with my mom and father. I've been reading your comments and I'm grateful to those who understood my situation and want help. But there's also some mean comments that hurt a little, even though I know they don't know the whole story. I honestly did not expect to receive them even one comment, but it's surprising to see that many of you can relate to my situation. It's reassuring to know that I'm not alone in dealing with these challenges. Anyways, since the big fight, Dad's been hardly coming home, and he doesn't answer our calls either. Mom's not doing well. She's really sad, and even though she tries to pretend everything's fine, I can tell that she's really hurt by what Dad did. It's like this for a few weeks now, and... We stopped trying to call dad, and when I went to his office, his assistant said that he had been, hadn't been there for a while and asked me not to disturb him. It's really hard to see mom struggling like this, and I'm not sure what to do next. We reached out to a few friends and family, but nobody's been able to get in touch with him either. Mom's family is absolutely livid upon learning about dad's infidelity. One day, out of nowhere, he just shows up right there at our home. Mom and I were both surprised to see him after he had been gone for so long, but instead of coming back to reconcile, he came to give divorce papers to Mom. I tried my best just to talk sense into both Dad and Mom, and I suggested they reconsider the decision and even mentioned the idea of a couple's therapy. I reminded them of the love they once shared and pleaded with Dad to stop acting foolishly. However, he did not listen to anything I said. Instead, Father demanded Mom to sign the papers right away. Mom looked at him angry and she cried and cursed at him for being a terrible person. And Dad just stood there cold and distant and he wouldn't even sit down. He looked impatient and annoyed and Mom did not want to argue anymore. So she quickly signed the papers and I tried to stop her but she was fast. She didn't want anything to do with him anymore. Dad didn't even care and asked us to move out soon because he bought the home. He said he was moving in with his fiance, and they got engaged and went on vacations. The whole time while we didn't even know where he went. I'm shocked at how heartless my dad is. He's willing to kick us out just so he can live there with his mistress. 
Before, I used to have some feelings for my father, even though he cheated, but now all I feel is straight-up hatred. Ah, he left right away with the papers. Mom could not bear to stay in the house anymore after what Dad did. She was deeply hurt, and we quickly started packing our things, even though it was hard because that house had been our home for so long. Since we had to leave in an absolute hurry, we did not have anywhere to go. So, we stayed at my aunt's place for a few days, and when my aunt heard everything from Mom, she was furious and wanted to confront Dad. So, Mom and I, with the help of my aunt, found a small one-bedroom apartment close to my university. My aunt also pitched in to help us move our things. It was surprising for everyone to hear about Dad's actions. He always seemed so nice and loving to Mom, so it was really hard to believe that he could do something like this. It's been a couple of weeks since we moved, and Mom began doing some work-from-home gigs, and I also picked up a part-time job after my classes to chip in for groceries. Mom was feeling down, but she came to terms with what happened, and she didn't want to have anything to do with Dad or even get angry at him for what he did to us. But I felt differently. I harbored a lot of anger towards my father and his fiance. They posted several pictures from their engagement, holding hands and laughing, and there were pictures of them sitting together in the same living room I grew up in. They even got a small dog. As I looked at their picture, I felt it was not fair that they get to enjoy life after ruining ours. See, Dad looked so different. I could even recognize him not anymore. He looked like a stranger, and uh, as I was looking at the pictures, an idea to sabotage their marriage came to me. Sarah doesn't know my face, and Dad probably never showed her my pictures either. What if I seduce her? I know it sounds crazy, but I just can't sit here after they destroyed my family, and I'll stop here for now, but I will update you guys soon. Update number two. Hey guys, I'm back, so sorry for not updating sooner. It's been a month since I last updated, and a lot's happened. I've been busy with classes and working on a plan to get back at Dad. To take my revenge, and I made a fake social media account. I posted some nice vacation photos and edited a picture of me in front of a well-known company, then uploaded it. I also included some pictures of a luxury car. I knew this would grab Sarah's attention, as she's the type to be attracted to my money. That's likely the only reason she broke apart my parents' relationship. I knew rushing it would only make it suspicious, so I decided to take it slowly, carefully. I sent her a follow request, which she accepted not even a minute later. I can't believe that this is who my dad left us for. I was disgusted with her, but I knew that I had to work on my plan. I messaged her, contemplating how beautiful she looked, and she replied right away thanking me, and that's how we started texting each other. I knew she wanted a wealthy partner, so I played right into it, and I told her that I inherited a lot of money from my parents, and I'm working at their business which I plan to take over someday. She took the bait, and we texted almost every day. I always said that she wanted to hear and never forget to mention my travels and how much money I was making. We talked about a lot of stuff, like what uh, I was having for lunch or dinner, and it felt like we were really dating. I even sent her flowers and a little gift from time to time. She was hooked. This went on for about a few months, and I asked her out on a date, and, well, she agreed. I took her to a fancy place that my friend owns, and I pulled some strings to make it exclusive just for us that night. I brought flowers for her and even picked her up from her home. Every time she talked, I was disgusted and annoyed, but I kept my composure. I knew she was impressed with the dates, and afterwards she started becoming even more interested in me. We went out a few more times for coffee dates and lunches, and one day I sent her a picture I took from Jim's. My father, his social media... It was a picture of them and with Jim on his knees proposing to Sarah, and I asked her, what is this? She freaked out and tried to call me, but I rejected it. I acted mad and disappointed, and she texted me saying she loved me and wanted to explain everything in detail. Well, I agreed and called her over for lunch at my friend's restaurant. When she came over, she explained that she did not love Jim and thought that he was old and ugly. She also mentioned that she's only with him because of his money, and she said that she loves me a lot. Well, I acted mad and didn't say anything, but inside I was scoffing at her audacity. I told her I understood her feelings, explaining that my rich parents were also pressuring me to marry their business partner's daughter. I said if I didn't marry her, I'd have to give up my inheritance and the business, and I acted like I was bonding with her over our shared problem. I also confessed my love for her. 
She looked smug, and I could tell that she must have been thinking that I was head over heels. I hated every minute I spent with her, but I endured it. I had a reason for using my friend's restaurant for our meetings, and I had planted a hidden camera in our private room every time I met with Sarah, capturing every piece of evidence that I could use later on. It helps that Sarah has a big mouth. She would trash talk about Jim every time we met. She would say that he was an old, a foolish, uh, finding him annoying, and she complained about having to spend time with him and how much she didn't even want to. She said that he's boring and that she has to deal with his dullness every day. Uh, according to her, he's like a stone, no fun at all. She also said that she could not believe that she had to spend the rest of her life with him. One time, she even leaned in for a kiss, and I panicked because I didn't really want to kiss her. I told, I said it was uh, repulsive. However, I knew this would be perfect revenge for my father, uh, what he did to my mom. He would be so angry to see it, so I kissed her, and everything was caught on camera. Since I had already filmed everything I needed to and did not all need to keep acting, I stopped talking to Sarah, and all I did was wait for the big day, the wedding. I wasn't invited to the wedding, but Dad sent an invite to Mom. I think he did it just to rub it in my mom's face, and after finding out at the wedding venue, I started formulating the plan. I wanted to use the recording video to embarrass my father and his fiancée. It would be perfect chance just to get revenge for what he did to us. I'll end it for now, but I know many people might disagree with my approach, but I've made up my mind that I wanted my dad to pay for what he did. I'll keep you all posted as soon as I can. Updates number three. This is the final update of the story. Wow, so hey, it's been a few days since I last posted. It would be an understatement to say that I've been um, busy, but sorry for not updating sooner. The wedding day finally came, and I took mom to the salon for the morning before the wedding, and she wasn't sure if she wanted to go. I convinced her. I bought her a pretty dress, and she looked amazing, and we went to the wedding where many of our relatives and everyone from dad's office were. There must have been, what, 400 people? Filling up the whole place and the wedding venue was stunning and luxurious. Some people gave us this weird look like they couldn't figure out why mom and I were even there at the wedding. I could just tell by the way they glanced at us that they were probably thinking, what are they doing here? It felt pretty awkward, but I tried not to let it bother me too much. So before the wedding started, I met with the person operating the lights and screens, and I identified myself as the groom's son and sent him a file, telling him it was a surprise requested by the groom to play during the vows exchange for the bride. I sat next to my mom and waited for the drama to unfold. When the bride arrived and stood in front, she was shocked to see me in the audience. She looked at me and panicked, and I smirked at her, and soon it was time for them to exchange rings, and the video started playing. However, it was a video of her trash-talking my father. Then the video quickly changed into passionate kissing me on the lips. Everybody even gasped when they saw that the bride was kissing me and her soon-to-be stepson. Sarah shrieked as she realized it was her on the screen and demanded it to be taken down immediately. My father, on the other hand, looked horrified by what he saw. Everyone at the venue murmured and laughed at them, and Dad looked embarrassed while Mom was pleased with the drama that unfolded. I walked towards my father, where Sarah was trying her best to convince him that she was set up by me, didn't know anything. I looked at them, and I scoffed. Dad looked so mad, and I told him that's what he deserves, a cheater for a cheater, and Mom came up behind me, and Dad looked extremely embarrassed, and he could not even bring himself to look at Mom. Mom laughed in their faces and said to my father, This is who you left me for. Look what you've done to yourself. Sarah started shouting at me, blaming me for ruining her marriage, and she accused me of being jealous because my dad does not love me and my mom anymore. I was about to reply to her, but I didn't need to. Mom spoke up and told them that they didn't have any qualities worth getting jealous over. She asked them to look at themselves and scoffed at them. So, Dad looked at Mom, and it seemed like he was starting to regret what he did. However, Mom and I left the venue after the mess that we caused. A few days after the wedding, Dad showed up drunk at our place late at night, and he started swearing and calling my mom a manipulative person. He said it was all her fault that this marriage was broken and blamed Mom for my actions, insinuating that she probably instigated me into doing what I did. 
I quickly intervened, telling him that I did everything on my own accord, and Mom wasn't even aware of it. I told Dad to stop blaming Mom and reminded him that cheating caused his problems and he gets mad and tries to hit me. He said I wasn't his son anymore and would never forgive me. I told him that he's also not my dad anymore from that day on and he needed to leave my house. He was too drunk and refused to leave. Mom repeatedly asked him to leave as well, but he ignored her. Instead, he started trashing our place and even vomited. I was furious and called the police. Turns out our neighbor also called the police because he was being very loud. The police took him away after we explained that he came uninvited and would not stop harassing us. Since it was the first time and he was still my father, I decided not to file a report. Sarah got my number from dad and won't stop calling. She claims that she likes me and wants sympathy now that dad's done with her. She's manipulative and keeps calling even though I've blocked her. She even showed up at my university, but I made her leave. However, in time she realized that I'm not that rich guy. So dad showed up at home when I got back from work and mom let him in, which annoyed me, but I didn't say anything. He apologized and said that he regretted cheating on mom. Mom told him it's too late and he said he would never stop fighting for mom, but we were not sure that we can trust him. He hasn't helped us since he kicked us out four months ago, and he begged for forgiveness, but we can't trust him anymore. Relatives came over to convince us, but we were still unsure. I was disappointed that they wanted us to forgive father after he hurt mom so poorly. I could not bring myself to do it. Mom told them that if they did not stop asking us to forgive dad, she would also cut ties with them. Well, that did the trick, and they stopped pressuring us to forgive him. We decided to cut ties with dad and mom asked if I still wanted to talk to him, but I said no. We both agreed it's best for us to stay away from him. Well, this might be the last update. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.